I, I definitely want to talk about this project because I know there's a, a producer involved in it um, that I, I don't think you guys have worked with him before. His name is Configure, right? Um, and I, I'm, I'm familiar with him because of the record that he put out with Jahi earlier this year, um, which is really a dope record. Talk to me about Configure. How did you, got, how did you get connected with him and his role and involvement in this new album, Don't Fight Your Demons? So that's a great question. I didn't know Configure and I never heard his music. But I'm friends with Jahi. So yeah. Jahi's from Public Enemy, from Public Radio, I mean, Enemy Radio. So, and even before he was part of that, I just knew him as a solo artist. He would open up for Arrested Development and ask me, yo, can I come to this country or that city? And can I open up? And I always would be like, yeah, we'll work it out. Let's make that happen. And he's a lover of hip hop, just a great dude. So I'm a fan or friend and fan of Jahi. So then, Jahi puts out this record, Forward Future, or something like that. Yeah, that was Forward, Forward. And that's the record you're referring to. So it said Jahi and Configure. And I'm I, every time he releases something, I'm, I'm checking it out. He's my dude. So I checked it out, and I was like, yo, this is hot. I love the soundscapes of this. It brings me back to, like, to me, the purity of hip-hop. Great soundscapes, great lyrics. Every song is about something. You know, they, like, it ain't really too pre or anything but it's like some stuff that a 50 year old man 50 really one years old could understand and relate to and was like yo this is great so i sit i was in i was working out with my trainer and my cut my um sister-in-law and i was playing the record while we were working out and i sent him uh, i recorded that and i sent it to jahi and i said yo you got us over here rocking he sent that to configure Configure then hit me up on either Twitter or some some social media thing and was like, yo, respect. I'm glad you like our, our stuff. And I said, I do. And we started building on why don't we try to do a song together? Because I, I love the Jahi project with him. And that's how it started. And then Configure and I, he lives in um, London. So Configure started sending tracks and I just started vibing along with what he was sending. And I was already making tracks for an Arrested Development record. Mm. And it started from there. It just started to form. It was like, you know what? I like this track. That's hot. And what I liked about Configure was that his sensibility about hip hop was very similar to mine. Like the era that we're probably most influenced by was that boom bap era. And, you know, we liked the trap sound, but it was like not really our forte. It's not where we it's not sort of our area of genius in a sense. So it was like, okay, let's rock with what we really like. And that was like a given. So we weren't trying to sound like, you know, whoever nowadays. Like we weren't trying to sound like somebody today. We were trying to just do what we do. Mm. And that felt good. So the, so the chemistry was real easy. We just started, you know, nowadays, technologically, you start passing around tracks to each other. And, you know, I'm a I'm a producer too. So I'm really crazy with Pro Tools. And so I'm able to edit and stuff. And I'm able to arrange the song. And so when he would send me a track, sometimes it'd be like a minute and a half long. And I would put it in a Pro Tools session and make it, you know, four or five minutes or whatever wow. and start developing a song to it and then send that to him. Then he would then, you know, with his, he had the multi track scenario in his studio. He would then, you know, um, pattern the song after whatever arrangements I did. And it was just like, going back and forth. And, and it was just a real good energy. And I'm really grateful for that dude. Cause I don't know. I think we really, we struck a nerve with this record. Like he did seven songs on this record. And to some extent, you know, those records were sort of the heart and soul of this, this album. Wow. And so I'm really grateful, you know, that we got a chance to connect and I'm grateful he did that project with Jahi. Cause I wouldn't have probably heard of him. Wow. I didn't know that that's how you got in contact. So that means that his production, like that he contributed, that was like not too long ago. No, that, we, we, we started all of that, like during the COVID-19 wow. pandemic. So um, I think, ja I forget the month Jahi's record came out, but I'm going to say maybe March or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. So if it came out in March, then... I probably, you know, got to know who he was by April. And by then, the pandemic was pretty much widespread and no touring. 
no money being made in that way. So I was really like confined to the house. And that was actually a blessing in the sense of creativity because I'm just locked in the studio every day and same with him. And, you know, he's five or six hours ahead of me because I'm in Atlanta. He's in London. So we're just bouncing stuff back and forth and just really like focusing in. And then, of course, I would bring group members like One Love onto the record and stuff like that. One Love's one of the members of AD now. So, you know, it was it was cool. It was a real good energy. Dope. 